Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Lava Light based cryptography. Today's story is going to actually just be kind of a lighthearted story that I read in Digital Trends, which does have a little bit of security education to it, but I just thought it was a fun story to share. Today, Digital Trends posted a story about how Cloudflare, a big content distribution network, uses lava lamps to improve their customers' security. Now, before I give you more details about this fun story, one thing you need to know is a lot of the digital cryptography algorithms algorithms we use rely on a random seed, some bit of random information. And randomness is very hard, if not impossible, for a computer. A computer is something known as a deterministic system. It works in a very specific way that we can totally predict. If you have an algorithm, you know exactly how that algorithm works. It's deterministic. So technically, it's pretty much impossible for a computer to create a truly random number without some sort of input of true randomness. And this is what cryptographers call a seed. Often we get our seeds from things like someone moving the mouse in some random pattern, or a very accurate measurement of the specific time down to the millisecond, or many other novel ways where the computer gets some sort of data input that is random, and it uses that seed for an algorithm to then create new randomness. And the industry calls this a pseudo-random number generator. It's technically pseudo-random because it's not truly random. There's an algorithm around it, but the randomness is generated by that seed that you give the algorithm. Now, the only problem with this is how many different truly random numbers that a pseudo-random number generator can make is dependent on the seed length. A longer seed could help the computer generate many, many random numbers without ever looping back into the same sequence. But eventually, any sort of algorithm that generates pseudo-random numbers will eventually repeat on itself. In fact, if you just used a two-digit seed, that a pseudo-random algorithm might start repeating on itself quite quickly. And that's why these seeds have grown relatively long. Now, the good news is if you use a long enough seed, these pseudo-random number generators are still practically secure. And that means means even though technically they will eventually repeat, it's going to take hundreds and hundreds of years uh, for them to get to that point, or trillions and trillions of different uh, number or, or letter combinations. But long story short, and back to the original point, computers really can't generate random numbers without you adding some sort of truly random bit of data. And there is a difference between a quality pseudo-random number generator, which really depends on how random and how long the seed is you give it, and a less quality version of, of a computer randomness. In any case, this all brings us to today's interesting story, which just was to show that Cloudflare actually has a wall that has a hundred lava lamps, and they're constantly taking still images and pictures of those lava lamps, and it's all to provide a truly random seed for all their pseudo-random number generation that they use for digital certificates in SSL. Basically, the way lava lamps bubble up is truly random. It's probably dependent on many different things like how much light is in the room, heat fluctuations, and too many different variables for a human to understand. So by taking a random picture of, of this constant feed, they get a bit of seed data that is truly random that feeds all their cryptographic algorithms. And I just thought that was a fun and interesting way to create random seed data. By the way, that's what they do at one of their offices. At a Singaporean office, they also apparently generate randomness based on some sort of radioactive material. And in one of their UK offices, they use some sort of three-way pendulum to create randomness. In any case, I just thought it's a fun story. And by the way, I will link to uh, this article, which also has a YouTube video from another popular YouTuber kind of talking about it. So you can see that in the reference section of the blog post associated with this video. By the way, if there's a practical takeaway to this fun day, 
daily byte. It's just that you understand the importance of pseudo-random number generation on computers for security and cryptography. You can have a great cryptographic algorithm that's mathematically sound and very strong, say AES 248-bit encryption. However, a lot of the inputs that algorithm needs is bits of random seeds. If you have some sort of low quality, bad random number generation that's based on some sort of less random seed data, it's actually going to affect the security of your cryptography. And that's why occasionally you'll see vulnerabilities in pseudo random number generation for different computer programs or even for chipsets that could have serious implications for all around security. Anyways, just thought it was a fun story. Be sure to check out the link if you want to know more. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.